In this episode of Sailing Doodles, we make it to beautiful Block Island in Rhode Island and then take you up for a helicopter tour. This season of Sailing Doodles features Bobby, Allie, and Megan as we sail around the Northeast on our 1989 CT-56. Thank you so much to our patrons for making this channel possible. In the previous video, we took Allie's Lures 32 out for some fishing and then set sail celebrating over 300,000 subscribers. Hey guys, with the holiday season coming up and the pandemic, it's sometimes gonna be a little hard to see your loved ones. It's kind of a bummer. There's no better way to tell your loved ones you're thinking about them than to send them flowers. But the problem with flowers is they only last like a couple days, a week, and then they're dead, and you kind of, yeah, I don't know, you spend 40, 50 bucks, and, or whatever, how much you spend on flowers, and they last a week and it's gone. But that's not the case with Eternal Fleur. The unique thing about Eternal Fleurs is that they last up to 365 days or longer without water or sunlight. These are real flowers that'll last a year. Each bouquet is handcrafted and specially preserved to keep their bright color and look beautiful for a year. If you use the discount code SAILINGDOODLES at checkout, you can save 25% on your order. So I think it's a pretty neat product, so check them out, go to their website and order some today and let your family know you're thinking about them. I'm sure your mom or your grandma would love it. The sun is not quite up yet, the moon is still full. We're about to pull up anchor and get out of here. A little bit of this little chop and swell came in about 3.30 and it made it just a little bouncy, but not too bad. Woke me up enough just to, it just woke me up and I went back to sleep, but it's not too bad. The plan for the day was to leave the east end of Long Island and sail straight to Block Island. Hello. We're on the Alley Express today. Alley Express! We're in race mode. I know, I was gonna say, why, why Shh, we're going Don't tell anybody the engine's on. <laughs> well, we got the spinnaker all set up and ready to go, and then the wind dropped off to like seven knots. So uh, we're gonna wait a minute to see if it picks back up. But if I mean, at least it's set up, and we can just lower it if it comes up later. But we'll see. Great job, Bob. So we have a boat that is currently taking on water south of Block Island. We are listening to the radio Good transmissions. And uh, it looks like there is a standby vessel waiting to assist. Seven people on board, all with life jackets. Bilge pumps are running. We're hoping they can save it. I mean, if we're too slow to get there. There's already two boats on scene. I mean, we're, they're like seven miles away from us. It would take us an hour. It takes the speedboats 10 minutes, right? They're already on the way. You can actually see the one going to it right now. There's the uh, rescue boat from Block Islands on its way out. There's another good Samaritan boat that's already there. The captain that was making the distress call, his radio etiquette and usage was very poor, which made it very difficult in the beginning. We were listening to the whole conversation for people to find out where he is and what's going on and all that. Uh, he just he just was not good on the radio. I mean, so that's one thing, practice, maybe, being good on the radio. Very important when somebody's trying to locate you. Yeah. I mean, the Coast Guard's asking, you know, where are they? You know, what color is your boat? What's the name of your boat? What's going on? And the guy just, be like, we, we take water. I mean, we're taking on water. And he wouldn't yeah. say anything else, you know? And I'm like, okay, well, we need to know how to get to you. Not a good way to start the weekend. But hopefully they're okay. Years afterwards, if they survive. Made it to Block Island. We are currently entering the Salt Pond, Great Salt Pond, which is beautiful. Very cute Coast Guard station here. A little lighthouse. This is the main anchorage. This is also the venue for a very popular regatta that happens every other year called Block Island Race Week. And if you are a racer and you haven't done it, I would highly recommend it. Here we are in Block Island. This place is busy, so all that is a big mooring field. These are all private moorings on this side. On the other side are all the public moorings. They're $45 a night. Over here is free to anchor, but you have to be out on this side of the little anchor line. You know, the, the only benefit really to going over there is a shorter dinghy ride maybe, but I mean, we got a pretty nice dinghy. Whatever, it's free out here. I'm planning on being here seven or eight, maybe 10 days. So it'd be 500 bucks or free. So I'll probably just stay here. Not bad, not a bad spot. There's a lot more boats here than I was expecting. There's a ton. 
um, I didn't realize. I mean, I guess it's holiday weekend, so and probably the last real boating weekend of the season up here because you know season closes early here. All right, so uh, Megan has to work. Lame. <laughs> Hi. Oh, hey. <laughs> Anyway, she's got to work, so we're going to go a little uh, cruise around it. Man, this anchor just filled up already. All right, so let's just kind of go cruise around. Well, even though we're in the brand new dinghy and it's like, you know, super fast or anything, it's like, you know, no wake in this whole bay, so not real fast. We're going to take it easy. Yeah. Behave ourselves. Yeah. This was Labor Day weekend, so there were an absolute ton of boats in the bay. It was pretty much the last hurrah for sailing up in the Northeast. There's like a line of boats 15 feet coming in. Look at that. It's a popular spot this weekend. Yeah. It's going to pretty crazy in here. It's going to be a party. Yeah. Woo. We're all going to get COVID. <laughs> we started it already. Yeah, right. So this is going to be a slightly different video than you're used to. Uh, so I have two YouTube channels. One of them is called Sailing Doodles, one of them calls Flying Doodles. If you're watching this, you watch one of them. But we're going to combine the two right now. We are on my boat. This is Sailing Doodles. And we are going to go to the airport and go flying for Flying Doodles and we're going to film it. But I have my crew with me, the lovely Megan and Allie. We're going to chop it up. And if you haven't watched Flying Doodles, well then come on. You're about to see us take an airplane up. Actually, this is going to be a helicopter and uh, take it around. Yeah. All right, we're loading up in the dinghy. We're going to go picked up by my friend who owns a helicopter company here, and we're going to go fly. Okay, this is the OR. It's a well-known Block Island landmark, also home of the Race Week headquarters. Very cute spot. It is beautiful. All right, so he picked us up here. This is my buddy, Matt. Hey, guys. Met him in uh, the, where were we, the Bahamas? Uh, yeah, Bahamas. It's Bahamas. Yeah. So he's a cruiser as well. He has a, what, uh, uh, Island Packet 35? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Own the helicopter company out here. We do tours, charters, and then uh, flight instruction. So we have two locations, one in Block Island and one over in Westerly. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll take you guys up for a ride. Wait, what kind of airplane are we going in today? Uh, an R44. R44. Yeah. All right, sweet. I've never been in one of those. You ready to do this? I'm a little nervous, uh, to be it? honest. There's not a door. There's not a door on your... But that was by choice, uh -huh, so... Uh -huh. Be careful. I'm Matt with Heli Block Helicopter Tours, and this is a Robinson R44. The Robinson 44 is a four-place helicopter, first certified by the FAA in 1992. It's powered by a single piston engine and can cruise at about 110 knots. The plan for the day was to head back over to Westerly, where we're going to pick up fuel, and then back to Block Island for a little tour. Matt was even nice enough to let me do a little flying. Matt brought us in for a nice, smooth touchdown. All right, Matt, well, thank you for taking me up. Yeah, you're welcome. It's uh, only my second time actually flying in a helicopter, and he actually let me uh, handle those sticks a little bit there. They're pretty good. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so it's heliblock.com, yeah. and uh, come fly with him sometime down here in, uh, what, Block Island and over and in Westerly. Uh, Westerly. Yeah. All right, we'll do it. All right, thanks. All right, so uh, after a helicopter oh flight, God, it's time for some cocktails, I believe. Yeah. That. So let's, let's see. Cheers, Cheers. Guys. 
You really couldn't ask for a better day and a beautiful sunset that evening. That's how they do sunset at Block Island. <laughs> Cheers. I'm into it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. The, the best time. I love my The goodest of vibes. <laughs> Thank you for watching and be sure to click that subscribe button and it's our patrons that make this channel possible. They get lots of extra content like patron only videos and behind the scenes information.